What's up, everybody? This is Zach Hample back at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati for the second straight day. And man, if you didn't see the video that I filmed here yesterday, what are you doing? That was my 1500th consecutive game with at least one baseball. I got Ronald Acuna Jr. to sign a ball, which I'm giving away. So much other stuff happened. I got 17 balls yesterday, hoping for a ton more action today. Gorgeous weather. Both teams should be taking batting practice. Gonna try to catch a home run during the game. That's usually the goal. Have a few other things in the works, so let's get to it. I just got two of the luckiest ricochets of all time back to back on home runs by the Reds. I love it when that happens. I'm completely out of breath and I'm not complaining. I love it. Free exercise, baby. So five baseballs today. I got one right away just like yesterday. The so-called Easter egg sitting in the front row for me. I'll actually show you later in this video, maybe when there's a break in the action, exactly where that baseball today was tucked, kind of in a little hidden spot. So. Man, the Reds are really putting on a good show. Double digits while I'm halfway there. Want one? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. That's <laughs> Thank you! You get the assist on that one. That guy was nice enough to leave the baseball on the warning track for me. I was fumbling around with it for a bit. So that is eight baseballs and the Reds are still hitting. I am definitely getting double digits today for the second day in a row. Thank you. Another great day of batting practice from the Reds. Hitting baseballs all over the place, being super friendly, tossing up lots of baseballs, glove trick opportunities as well. And there was a really fun moment. One of the coaches on the Reds was interacting with the fans a bit, being friendly. And I called out to him and said, hey coach, why don't you hit a fungo to the last row of the bleachers and watch us all race for it? And he said, you know what, that sounds like fun. It turns out that he threw the ball deep into the seats instead. But regardless, it was great to race up there and one other dude beat me out for it. Props to him. You know, I always say the competition is what makes it fun. So I got nine baseballs today. One more for double digits. The Braves are just taking the field. As you saw in the video yesterday, their first group is money. Ronald Acuna, Freddie Freeman, Nick Markakis. So I'm gonna switch out of this Reds gear, put on my Braves hat and get ready for more action. That was Eddie Perez, who has been so friendly to me for the last two days. And that was my 10th of the day. Woo! The Braves just finished their first group of BP, and there's something I want to talk about quickly because I see a lot of comments on YouTube, and yes, I try to keep an eye on those, from people who always say, 
how do you know which batters are going to hit in which group? Well, the answer is that you go to a lot of games, you pay close attention, you remember, and the order in batting practice often mirrors the order of the batting lineup during the game. Now, based on what I saw yesterday, I expected to see more of the same today. But guess what? Freddie Freeman was not in that group. Nick Markakis was not in that group. Instead, Ozzy Albies hit. He was in a later group yesterday, and Brian McCann was taking some cuts. So, in a way, you never really know. Those were still good hitters, but they didn't put on nearly as good of a show as the first group yesterday. So I just got that one toss-up from Eddie Perez, then a ground rule double at the wall, and that's it. So I'm not going to complain about getting two balls in one group, but it still could have been a lot better. So 11 so far today. All right, so that's it for Braves BP. I got 12 baseballs. I think combined everybody here probably got 100 today. And at 5.40 p.m., which is just a couple minutes from now, they sound the whistle and everybody races up this ramp, goes over to left field, and the scavenger hunt is on for baseballs in the seats. Now about 10 minutes ago, I did see a few ushers go down into the seats and they were picking up some balls, but then they left and the Braves were still hitting for 10 minutes. So there might be a few baseballs in there. Guys, are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Yes. It's on. Three more Easter eggs for me today in left field. I absolutely love it, and it would have probably been even more if not for those pesky ushers, but still really glad to have gotten those. I headed up to the second deck briefly to look for more up there because Yasiel Puig was blasting baseballs about 450 feet from home plate. You never know where baseballs might be lurking, but there was nothing waiting for me up there. So, 15 baseballs total today, plus the 17 from yesterday, 32 balls in two days. I love this place so much. And listen, of course, I always want to know who hits the balls, who throws the balls. I don't always know. All those ground rule doubles and home runs today, I have no idea. But I do know that my 12th ball was thrown by Braves pitcher Bryce Wilson. And check out this one. During Reds BP, I got one of those 150th anniversary commemorative balls. The Reds, of course, were the Red Stockings. They became a franchise in 1869. And the Reds are using these baseballs during games for the entire season. And every now and then, you might get lucky and find one during BP. I am in such a good mood right now. And you know what I want to do as a result? I want to talk to you guys quickly about SeatGeek. They've sponsored a bunch of videos in the past. They're sponsoring this one as well. So for those who still don't know, SeatGeek is an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one spot to make it really easy to buy them. They put little colored dots on the seating chart so you can tell right away how good of a deal you're getting. Very user friendly. Now here's how they're hooking it up. Check the description for this video, okay? You're gonna find a link there that you can use to download the SeatGeek app, all right? So on your very first purchase of $20 or more, enter the promo code ZACK, but make sure you spell it Z-A-C-K, all right? And you will get a $10 discount from SeatGeek. Huge savings, great deal. So many people have told me throughout the last few seasons that they've taken advantage and saved money. And it's not just Reds games, it's not just baseball games, it's all sporting events, it's concerts, it's comedy. Anytime that you can buy a ticket, definitely look at SeatGeek first. All right, now check this out. This is a screenshot from my video last year from right after I caught my third home run of the game. So I'm putting up the three fingers. And I suppose you want me to sign this? Man, that's awesome. That's really cool. I remember I was, uh, I was at school and I checked my Instagram. It was on your story. Oh wait, Zach Campbell caught three home runs today. <laughs> There it is. special to get to check out the sweet level at a major league stadium, something I haven't gotten to do that often. I've showed it in a few videos, and here we go with the Reds. This is what one of their suites looks like, perched high along the left field foul line. 
So the interior right here, you can see the hot plates where there'd be unlimited food. They would just keep bringing it. You can see there's outdoor seating, seating at a bar, there's tables, cushy benches as well. You got the whole kitchen area, just beautiful artwork on the wall, the big TV where you can watch the game up there, as well as, of course, with your own eyeballs looking at the field. So just really nice facilities, tight setup. And, you know, as much as I love personally being in suites, all the free food, I just want to be in the outfield trying to catch home runs. So they just wrapped up the national anthem. I'm going to head back downstairs. If the Braves are still warming up along the foul line, we'll catch them. Otherwise, whoosh, straight to the outfield. This game started with a bang. Ozzie Albies, leading off for the Braves, hit a solo home run down the right field line. So out here in left field, I had no play on that. But it's always nice to see the baseballs fly. And then the Reds answered with a run in the bottom of the frame. So right now, top of the second inning, it's one to one. And guys, check this out. This is my ticket from today's game. I barely got Charlie Culberson to sign it right before the game started. Yesterday, of course, I got the Acuna autograph on a baseball to give away as an Instagram prize. So I won't be keeping that one. Normally, I like to get my autographs on tickets, and if you missed it, I did four long videos over the off-season showing my ticket stub collection. More than a thousand autographs, so search for that on YouTube. And right now, I still have an entire empty row in that direction. It's a little bit crowded on that side, so... Hey, guys, hit, hit baseballs on this side, okay? Thanks, appreciate it. to give you guys a scoreboard update. Not much to report. The Braves are winning two to one, heading to the bottom of the seventh inning. Ozzy Albies, the first batter of the game. That is still the only home run tonight. Now it rained earlier, it chased some people away. Very slow, quiet night. Just look at this, look at this. I have so much space to work with here. If anybody would hit a home run, I guarantee you I would catch it. So let's see it. When I entered at game time, yeah. I was so nervous. Yeah. But I figured if I got shut out, it would be good content for YouTube, right? Yeah. I saw when you got that bat song by Mike Trout. That'll be coming in the yeah. next video. You'll actually oh. see the bat. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> it's a final. The Braves won this game by the score of 3-1. to one. And I hate to say it, but this game was kind of unremarkable. Neither starting pitcher went past the sixth inning, and yet there were only two extra base hits. None for the Reds. That leadoff home run by Albies was the only long ball of the night. So even though I had all kinds of space out here in left field, luck just was not on my side. No opportunities. But early on, during batting practice, there were tons of opportunities. I got 12 baseballs during BP, three Easter eggs after BP, and okay, a couple things about that. I mentioned that I was going to show you that secret space where the baseball was hiding early on. Well, here's a little reenactment of what it looked like when I grabbed it. There's a little gutter underneath the chairs in the front row, and that baseball was waiting for me when I ran inside. 
Now, the 15 baseballs bring my lifetime total to 10,757. And you guys are already gonna check the description for this video for that info on SeatGeek. While you're there, check out the link, a direct link to my fundraiser this year for charity. Every baseball that I snag is raising money for pitch-in for baseball and softball. They provide equipment to underserved children and communities all over the world, so hopefully you can get involved. Quick shout out to Gavin, who was great competition today during batting practice. He put up double digits as well. He beat me out for a baseball early on. Fun hanging out with him. His dad was super cool. And I think that's about it. Once again, I'm the last fan in the stadium, so I am out. Thank you guys for watching.